Here's how to convert the Cloud Mini Crib to the Cloud Full Crib. Be sure to have your wrench, H, and Allen wrench, G, both of which are included in your hardware kit. Keep in mind that the Full Crib uses all the same hardware as the Mini Crib, so you shouldn't need any additional hardware. Just like with the Mini Crib, remember to pair each bolt with its respective washer. First, remove the mini mattress support and the bolts and washers, including the mattress support bolts D if you are using either of the top two mattress levels for the mini crib. Now we'll remove the mini crib side panels. Unscrew each of the bolts A using your Allen wrench and also remove lock washer F. Next, unscrew the wheels using your wrench. Now we'll add the legs. Screw each leg, piece four, into the headboards. Once you're done with that, attach the full crib side panels, piece 2, using bolt A and washer F, and ensure the pieces are aligned. You can start screwing the bolt in with your hand, and then finish using the Allen wrench to secure the bolts. Next, do the same thing for the other side, attaching the second headboard to the side panels using bolts A and washer F, just as before. Place your crib in an upright position and attach the mattress support bolts D at the desired height using bolt I, washer F, and the Allen wrench. Be sure that the larger, unthreaded hole in the mattress support bolt is the hole that attaches directly to the side panel. Next, we'll attach the mattress support, piece 3. Secure the mattress support onto the mattress support bolts using bolt B, washer F, and the Allen wrench. Repeat this for all four sides. To lower the mattress support to the lowest height, remove the mattress support, then the bolts and washers, including the mattress support bolts D. Then place the mattress support directly at the base of the crib and secure it using bolt B, washer F, and the Allen wrench. That's it! Your nested cloud full crib is all set up 